Thanks, Kennedy, for turning on my camera. What's up, you guys? Divine Chakras here. Welcome back. Trying to get you guys. Divine Girl Vlogs. So Kennedy wants you guys to follow her on Divine Girl Vlogs. So make sure you do that, okay? And subscribe. And subscribe. Can you turn the light towards me? Okay, that's good. That's good. All right, you guys. So D Divine Chakras, welcome back. So today I'm in the comfort of my bed again because I didn't feel like recording. I'm trying to get Kennedy out the shot. Okay, that'll work for now. I just want I want y'all to get the message. Okay, so we are talking about the solar plexus today, okay? And you guys know Manipura, all right, is located right above the, the uh, sacral, um, just ab well, right, right at the navel, like literally right at the navel. That is where the solar plexus is located, okay? It is the gut, all right? It is the literally, um, it is the seat of your emotions, okay? It is the city of shining, the shining jewel. That is what Manipura uh, translates to in Sanskrit. Okay, so it literally moves like the sun. Okay, the solar plexus moves like the sun throughout the bottom half of your chakras up through your heart. So it's literally like a figure eight. The energy flows like this. So it literally interconnects your chakras together. Okay, that is what the solar plexus does. It is the seat of emotions, as I said before. Okay, so, um, the solar plexus is so like amazing because it's really such an important chakra, especially for women, because we're always talking about a feeling. I feel this. I felt, I felt, I felt, I felt that this was going to happen. I felt that this was going to happen. My gut told me that this was going to happen. Literally, the solar plexus is your gut. It is, it works along with your third eye to um, help with your intuition. Okay. So it's, it's another form of intuition. Not only do you have your third eyes intuition, but you also have the seat of your emotions or the solar plexus or the Manipura as your, your intuition, your gut feeling. Okay. So for women, it is the stomach or the womb, the intestines, the large intestines, the small intestines for men, same thing, your stomach, but of course men don't have a womb. Okay. So, um, it, the, the solar plexus is literally, um, the feeling of again, intuition, and the thing is, is that we constantly work with this chakra every single day. And I'm reading my notes, so I just want you guys to know I have a lot of notes, okay? We literally work with this um, chakra every day. We're constantly always working with the solar plexus. Why? Because it is where the food is stored that we eat, okay? Not only that, but it is where our confidence lies, okay? It is where, again, our intuition lies, okay? Um, and it also takes in a lot of dangerous frequencies because of the foods and things that we eat. A lot of us don't eat the right things, right? Um, and so the frequencies are passed through the solar plexus and a lot of us fail and a lot of us can't even get past the solar plexus when we're trying to ascend. You think you're ascending, but if you're not eating what you're supposed to eat, me, <laughs> then you will not ascend, okay? And so this is why we are working on this chakra because it is time for us to change our eating habits. It is time to change what we eat, what we put in our bodies, what we allow, um, what frequencies we allow to interact with our solar plexus because if we want to get to the heart, we have to actually eat right. We have to eat right, okay? And that means cutting out the meats, cutting out the dairies, cutting out things that we know our body is not supposed to consume, okay? Our bodies are supposed to be fruit and vegeta vegetable um, consuming bodies, okay? That is what we can literally live off of, all right? Besides like beans and things like that, what the universe provides besides meat because we aren't supposed to eat meat. That's not what our bodies are built to do, 
Okay. Um, and so that is what I mean by making sure that you eat correctly. You will never ascend through your chakras if you do not eat correctly. I'm just, it just, it just can't happen. It cannot happen. Okay. So, um, the solar plexus is a very powerful chakra in that it's, it, it really, um, leads us to a lot of decisions that we make on a daily basis. Okay. Um, and let's, let's look at the woman, for example, because, um, us women, the, the solar plexus is such an important chakra for us because we are led by feelings. We are led by emotions. Okay. Even though the sacral, um, holds emotions, the solar is where the seat of the emotions are. The seat of the soul is here. The seat of emotions is here. They work together. Okay. They work simultaneously to help strengthen and build our intuition in order to make better decisions in order for judgment, um, our judgment to be on point. Okay. So, um, the woman, our, our decisions, a lot of our decisions are made based of our intuition. Okay. The woman is that divine spirit. All right. We have that, that, that infinite divine spiritual energy. Okay. And thus the solar plexus gives off that infinite energy, that infinite eight energy. It literally, like I said before, the energy channels like this and it basically helps to complete your chakras, okay? Um, all your chakras run through this energetic portal, this infinite energetic portal within your body. Um, and basically, again, that is your solar plexus, okay? So, your solar plexus is literally the seat of your emotions, as I keep saying, but it's also the seat of your ego, okay? So, your power, your identity, your sense of self, your sense of who you are, your purpose on this earth, all of that is held in your solar plexus. So if you're lost in your purpose, um, if you feel like you are over emotional or you're not emotional enough, like you don't care, um, those are issues that have to do with the solar plexus. Okay. Now the matrix. All right. The matrix really, really, really messes with our solar plexus. And it's and it's another reason why we get hard. We get hit hard in our gut. Like literally, if someone hits you in your gut, in your stomach, you literally fall out like that is like, you know, when you see boxers and they're fighting and like or like, you know, if MMA when they're fighting and like someone kicks you in your stomach or even if you're on the street and you happen to get in a fight, like if someone hits you in your stomach or your gut, it kind of knocks the wind out of you um, and, it, and you just pass out. Right. OK. So so the matrix literally hits us hard every day in the matrix. Okay. For example, um, the eating, all right. Our confidence level. Okay. Um, religion. Okay. IE religion. It always tells us that we're born into sin. We're born a sinner. You're born into this world as a sinner. How are you going to sit up here and tell someone that they're born as a sinner? They're going to always feel like they're a sinner. They're going to always feel like they can never get out of this sinful, these sinful ways. Okay. Um, and it's, it's, it's really bad because that's where a lot of our energy is stored. So that's why these beliefs, these, these religious beliefs that, that have these negative connotations, um, added on to them, even though you may be in the religion and you see it as a way to like pursue and make yourself better. It's actually doing the complete opposite because a lot of these religions I know, like besides, um, Islam, like they, you, you basically eat what you want. Like Christianity, I, been in Christianity for the longest time and they never like none of my Christian churches or pastors or anything ever told us about not eating red meat or not eating correctly or you know making sure you're eating your fruits and vegetables like it was kind of like eat whatever you want and that that is not the, your body has to be pure your body is a temple so if your body is such a temple then why is it that that why is it that these religions don't preach eating better you know why why isn't it that the matrix teaches us to eat better why is it that they continue to feed us these gmo foods these um conventionally conventionally grown foods why do they keep on feeding these things to us okay they're literally trying to kill us they're trying to kill us through the gut which is where at, which is which is the vital area the vital energetic area okay now for men okay for men men store a lot of their energy in the solar plexus it's where a lot of their stamina is um and you guys know that the that the stomach area is like 
where the man like is the strongest. The women is stronger in our legs. We're, we're strong in, in the grounding, whereas the men are stronger in their stomach, in their core areas. OK, so it really does affect the men energetically, because if they no, just put it, just give it to me, if they're not strong um, in their core, in their in their gut area, um, then they're not going to have that stamina that they need, you know, to go through life, to handle relationships, to um, handle being able to cope with what's going on in this world. So with that being said, emotions for both women, women and men um, play a big factor in um, our alignment with all of our chakras. So that is why we want to always make sure, again, that we're eating right, okay, that we're really um, taking care of the the gut area that core area our solar plexus area because a lot of the toxins and a lot of the energies flow through there and if that solar plexus ain't right nothing else is going to be right okay it literally holds everything up and it literally holds everything down okay what blocks the um solar plexus is shame all right and shame is created by other people around you, other frequencies around you. So people can dam we know that people can damage your emotions and it makes you ashamed of yourself. So you can be ashamed of your body. You can be ashamed of the way you act. You can be ashamed of where you come from. You can be ashamed of the things you went through. Um, but shame is really a big thing that blocks the solar plexus and it messes up everything It messes up your confidence and messes with your ego. Um, it literally can damage you from the inside out. OK, so with that being said, all right, um, a lot of things need to happen when it comes to unblocking the solar plexus. All right. A big one that I love to do is um, affirmations, positive affirmations to yourself every single day, all day, if it's needed, especially to build your confidence level back up, especially um, to understand what your purpose in life is, because a lot of times people you may tell, tell people like, you know, this is my purpose. This is what I want to do. This is um, what I love to do. But they'll sit up here and they'll be like. I don't know why you're doing that. That's that's not even worth nothing. Like, why why you want to do hair? Why you want to do makeup? You ain't never going to make no money. You know, that's what I, I, I would hear from my mother and my father is when I wanted to go to cosmetology school. You ain't going to make no money doing no hair. And here I am, you know, 15 or so years later with um, two degrees, not using now one of them because I'm going to continue to do what I want to do. And that is work in you know and work in beauty and, and make people feel good that's what i wanted to do and so we have to really learn how to support people um and to really uplift people when they want to do something support them support them so that we won't be shamed so that we won't feel like we're less of a person so that we don't um so that we don't go through life not knowing what our purpose is here because again that's messing up the energetic flow of the solar plexus okay um things that can help this Cord cutting. So cord cutting from people, emotions, things that no longer serve you. Detox in the body. Again, positive affirmations. Mirror work. Okay. Mirror work is so big with solar plexus. Really doing those affirmations in the mirror. The I am. I will. Um, those building self-esteem, those things that really build up your self-esteem. Um, mirror work is so powerful when it comes to the solar plexus. Um, surrounding yourself with love and powerful people. So people that are going to empower you. Um, that is, that is the big thing that you can do to support yourself and to support your energetic flow through your solar plexus. Okay. So, um, let's see what's next. All right. So I'm going to give you, um, you got, I'm going to give you all a list specifically of, um, different things that can help with healing the solar plexus. Okay. Yoga. So yoga, f uh, focusing on your core, all right. Doing yoga poses and yoga exercises that focus on the core. All right. Eating better. All right. Cutting out your meats, especially I've already gone over this, um, being presentable. So really, you know, making sure you dress the way you want to dress, but that is presentable um, as far as presenting who you want to be and what you want to be to other people. So, for example, you know, I like to wear my head wraps and I like to wear my African um, jewelry and 
my crystals that really make me feel good and give off positive frequencies so that is what i'm talking about by dressing like you know i'm not saying that you go out and you buy gucci and all of this stuff you know what i mean but i i also mean that you dress to make yourself happy but to also be presentable so that you feel good when you go out into public okay um manifesting and transformation through color all right so wearing yellow okay wearing yellow stones um wearing yellow clothing eating yellow stuff um i.e bananas lemons things that are really going to brighten up your day i've never seen you wear eating these i know but i'm just saying like eating lemons if people if you like to eat lemons then that will also help um with the solar plexus okay even squash squash is yellow so um, yellow squash, eating, you know, yellow squash as well, eating, um, incorporating yellow peppers into your diet. That will also help with um, getting that solar plexus energy flowing. Again, positive affirmations, repeating I am in the mirror, calming music. OK, calming music, music that you like to listen to, not music that's like, you know, like upbeat rock and roll type of music, but just music, music that's very soothing. Um, that'll definitely help with the solar plexus. All right. Um, singing bowls using that singing bowl frequency you guys know I absolutely love this is one of my singing bowls that I have but this frequency hits me at the solar plexus so I absolutely love this one um Stones. Okay, we haven't talked about. Yeah, um, we have not talked about any solar plexus stones. So stones that are going to help with the solar plexus are all of your yellow stones. All right. My favorite, which is so powerful to work with at the solar plexus, is citrine, um, pyrite, sunstone, yellow calcite, and also um, spirit quartz. Um, the yellow spirit quartz. Those are stones that I absolutely love. Um, also. Um, you can do orange calcite. Orange calcite is great for the solar plexus. And another one that I have on the top of my head, but I cannot freaking remember it. But yes, <laughs> anything, any stones that are yellow are going to be ones that can definitely help. And you can always pair these. Um, I already said yellow calcite. But you can always p uh, pair these stones with the clear quartz in order to amplify the energy. Um, and to really press those frequencies forward. Okay. So I'm going to end the video here. It's about 17 minutes in. I hope that you guys learned some information about the solar plexus. Um, Don't forget to follow me on YouTube on Divine Girl Vlogs and subscribe. <laughs> yes. One thing that I did want to um, speak on that I completely forgot to talk about was, um, uh, things that happen if your solar plexus is blocked okay and i completely skipped over it so i don't know what happened but things that affect you when your solar plexus is blocked is stop moving gosh is um poor judgment sickness and poor health um ego lashing out does you don't want to seek help from anyone um stubborn disappointing your confidence is low and anxiety okay um if you have a positive flow of energy into the solar plexus you're going to um experience trans transformation through spirit um personal growth operate independently emotional control and you have better decision making okay so a lot of us again a lot of us have issues with the solar plexus this is one chakra that um, I, th I think can always use balancing every single day. We can balance that, um, that root as well as that solar plexus. So I don't know how I for completely forgot about that guys, but I am so sorry. I totally just skipped over that on my paper, but I just wanted to throw that out there so that we keep up with the same schematics with the videos. Okay. All right, you guys, I'm going to end it here. I love you guys so much. Thanks for watching and I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace.